Meet the Brown family. They look the picture perfect family, don't they? However, all is not what it seems. Mr. Brown suffers from anxiety and panic attacks. His biggest problem is that he catastrophizes everything. So what is catastrophizing and how does it affect your life? Catastrophizing is a habit that most people have, which involves overestimating the probability of bad happening and having exaggerated thoughts about the consequences. Humans are naturally drawn to the worst stories, which is what leads us to believe that all incidents are terrible when they're just isolated cases. It's impossible not to get swayed by the media, but we need to be strong and use it as a reminder that things will eventually get better. Catastrophizing is largely an attempt to make sense of the world around us and find meaning in what we see. What is the best way to stop catastrophizing in your everyday life? One of the best ways is to change your thinking and change your thought process from what's the worst that could happen to what would be the best that could happen. If you were worried about sitting an exam, it helps to take a few minutes out at the start of a test and think about how you will feel after you get your result back. This way, it may make you less stressed and more confident when it eventually comes to give the answer. A good exercise to help with cognitive distortions. Cognitive distortions are patterns of negative thinking that are based on unrealistic beliefs or thoughts. This can lead a person to feel really bad about themselves and their lives. So, in order to identify and challenge distorted thoughts it can be helpful to try the following. 1. Write out the distorted thought. 2. Challenge the thought and ask yourself is there any evidence for this thought? 3. Rewrite the thought, based on what is actually true. Cognitive distortion skills are not something you can just learn overnight. It takes time and practice to develop them. In order to reshape your view of the world, you have to start with yourself. You have to be willing to change the lens through which you see the world. Finally, be like Mr. Brown who took the time to learn this new skill. It changed his life.